Hey there, fellow underdog entrepreneur. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to take you behind the scenes of my idea management workflow inside of ClickUp. It's a work in progress, but hopefully there's going to be some tips and tricks that you can swipe to help you master idea management inside of ClickUp. So let's get clicky with it. If you're like me, most entrepreneurs, we have ideas that seem to multiply like rabbits. It gets out of control sometimes. And one of the biggest things that I've been working on the last few months, as you know, is simplifying my ClickUp setup. My primary goal this week after getting a 3.0 release was to start hurting the rabbits and getting control back of my ideas first. But if you wanna see the big mistake that I made in getting started with ClickUp, check out this video above. Uh, hopefully you, it can help you prevent some of the mistakes that I made. But one of the changes that I made this year is sketching out the process first, then trying to build it inside of ClickUp because that's the part of the process I skipped and that led to my big mistake of setting up ClickUp. I made it way too complicated. So let's go in and if you've checked out my last video uh, on my content creation process, you'll know that I have started to sketch out the process first. Now I'm gonna zoom way out so you can see, I took the time to take this process. Thank you, Layla Pomper from Process Driven, who I drew inspiration from for this process. So this is my process of content creation. So this is specifically the ideas I have around content creation. And that is the video that we covered last time was the idea process. But I found since that video that I've been getting stuck I've been getting stuck in this idea process of trying to triage, but more importantly, trying to find the ideas in the first place. And as I reconfigured and configured and reconfigured ClickUp again, I kept getting stuck inside of this part of idea management. Now, I, I always, like I said, I have great ideas. I've been pretty good about getting them into ClickUp, but I struggled with how to triage them and how to find them in order to triage them. So let me show you what I did to solve that process. So inside of ClickUp, I created a content ideas uh, section. It is a list. So this is content ideas list. And if you're a ClickUp user, grab the Chrome extension. I'm always browsing websites. I come up with ideas. I can snip them right into my ideas board. But one of the things, like I said, was finding those, finding those content ideas. So I have them so that they go into my ideas to process section. And I, this is a filter inside of this list. So like I said, coming up with the ideas was not the problem. So what I did was, okay, now I have the ideas in here. Then I set up a status idea not started. So they automatically go into that status. But I also started to assign them a pillar. So whether that's, these are the core pillars of the content that I produce, and here's all of the content channels that I produce on. So most of them, as you see, are YouTube videos if you're checking this out. So I had the idea first, I would get this in there. So I reconfigured this list. So it's super simple, not too many, too much stuff going on on this board. So once I plugged it in, if this was an idea like this particular idea, let me grab one here that I started thinking about the best way to time to do time blocking inside your business with ClickUp. So if this is an idea that maybe I want to do a little bit more research on, do some gathering for the script, that type of thing, I may put it into my researching board. So that's step number one. I was like, okay, if I need to do more with this idea and then I have that segmented it, so that this view right here is just the ideas that I'm researching. So when I have that block of time scheduled in my in my day, my week, I can sit down and go through these ideas and start doing the research. However, now let's get into the the actual magic of where things happen once I have approved an idea. So if you'll notice over here, I have approved and rejected. So I could do those exact same things here. So they're just simple check boxes. These are checkbox custom fields. I can click on it, whether it's approved or rejected. So let me show you the automations that are behind those check boxes. So the very first one is the approved status. So let me go inside of here and do a quick edit. 
So if the custom field changes to approved and it is checked and the content type is a YouTube video, you see my where I, I did the content type, then it will move it into my YouTube production list and change the status to to do. Ooh. So all I have to do is check that box and it will go into my YouTube list where I can start the production, the content gathering, and I can start a whole new workflow. And I'll cover that in a separate uh, tutorial video. But for this one, I just wanted a quick way of triaging those ideas and getting action. Because most importantly, we have all these ideas, but taking action is super important. So let me just click on this real quick for you while I'm doing this video. And you'll see what will happen here. It will go ahead and change the status here. Oh, it went to to do and then watch. It's going to disappear here in a second. Poof, it's gone. So if I come over to my YouTube ideas board and I come in here to to action, look at that. It actually moved it to a completely different list. And if you want to see what that looks like, there's my production list. So it moved it from this content ideas, put it into my YouTube list. Now I can actually start doing my workflow that is specific for YouTube. So if I go back to content ideas and then I go, I have this sorted by pillars. So you can set up as many views as you want. This is just a separate view of the same data. So if go back to ideas to process and let's just look through one of here. Uh, let's see here that one I'm, I'm going to reject for this. So this one right here, if I click on reject, let me show you the automation behind that one. So if I scroll down here and here it is the last one that I created. So what it's going to do is if the custom field is rejected and it is checked, it is going to automatically change the status to rejected. And because I have a filter that is only ideas not started, watch what will happen here. It will disappear from this list and I no longer have to worry about it. So let's just see here. So let me click that right there and just wait a few seconds here and you will see that disappear off of my list, which is my ideas not started board. Boom, gone. So now that's my quick solution to stop getting stuck in this process. So I've used the custom fields of checked, approved and rejected checkboxes to move content along, to move it to that next step which the, for me is the next step. Once it's approved, it, get plug, it gets plugged into the content plan and I can start working on it. So if you wanted me to do a deep dive on automations, let me know in the comments below. Uh, but that was a sneak peek inside of what I'm currently working on. It's just the beginning. I'm just getting started with that process. We're gonna continue. I have so much more with that. As you can see, I've got a long process to do with content and I'm going to use automations and ClickUp to be able to do all of that. So if you want to check out the full ClickUp playlist, do so right here. That's going to where I share all my tips and tricks on ClickUp and be sure to like and subscribe while you're here too. So you get alerted when I put out new content so that I have another ClickUp video waiting for you. So until next time, let's get clicky with it.